extreme weather tonight. Tornadoes in Florida killing two people. Overnight, severe storms moved into central Florida. Those twisters hitting in the dark of night. This morning, not much left of this home near Sarasota. Take a look at that. 90,000 other homes starting the day without power. This car and many others not going anywhere soon. ABC's Philip Mena in the disaster zone. Tonight, Gulf Coast communities reeling after a rash of tornadoes. This is all that's left of this mobile home ripped from its concrete foundation and strewn across the road. 3.45 a.m., the EF2 tornado touching down in the town of Duet. A couple in that home, Stephen and Kate Wilson, lost their lives. Their son and four grandchildren injured but managed to climb to safety. When neighbors heard of the tornado alert, they tried but couldn't reach the Wilsons. Devastation. Woke up this morning and lost a uh, family friend and neighbor. My neighbor told me Steve was already gone. He's gone, but he'll never be forgotten, let me tell you. Today, friends are picking up the pieces. About 25 miles away, another twister in Sarasota County. The second floor of this $1.8 million property collapsing under the force of more than 130 mile per hour winds. Bay winds, we have reports of two people trapped upstairs in a home. Rescuers reaching that family stranded inside, now safe, suffering only minor injuries. Tom, the homeowner was up here on the second floor trying to escape when the tornado collapsed the house on her. Firefighters had to lift the wreckage to pull her to safety. But Tom, tonight she is out of the hospital with only minor injuries. Incredible anyone could survive that. All right, Philip, thank you. And tonight the weather threat is centered along the Great Lakes with up to two feet of snow. Buffalo drivers who dared to get out greeted by warning signs on the highway. ABC's Indra Peterson is here now. And Indra, we're actually tracking two snow systems right now. Yeah, we're getting some good flurries finally on the East Coast in the major cities like D.C. and New York right now. But really, watch what's going along the lakes. We're really seeing that lake effect snow cranking up right there. Buffalo has already seen a half a foot of snow. Watertown, Cleveland, these are going to be some bullseyes by Tuesday. Could see as much as two feet of snow. All of this, of course, being caused by that really frigid air, dangerous air. Minneapolis tomorrow could be 32 below. Chicago waking up to 20 below. Single digits on the eastern seaboard, but wait for it. Tuesday, when everyone goes back to work, Boston could be below freezing. A bitter cold. Yeah, the Midwest getting hit hard two weeks in a row. Ouch.